I'm going to show you how to create a blood splash effect in Premiere Pro that'll add some serious impact to your scene. First, I've already got my clip on the timeline. Now hold down the Alt or Option key and drag your clip upwards to duplicate it on track 2. With the duplicate selected, head over to the effects panel and search for the tint effect. Simply double click to apply it, then let's add the Gaussian blur effect in the same way. Now in the effect controls panel, change the black color to a dark red and the white to a lighter red. This will give us that perfect blood red hue. Next up, let's add a bit of blurriness for some depth. To avoid a harsh edge, check the repeat edge pixels option. Now go to your project panel and create a new color mat. The color doesn't matter yet, so pick anything. Drag it onto track 3 and extend it to match the length of your clip. On this color mat, add the VR fractal noise effect. In the effect controls panel, adjust the contrast and brightness to your liking. You can also play with the evolution value to change the look over time. Next go back to your duplicated clip and add the track matte key effect. In the effect controls panel, change the matte option to video 3. Then set the composite using option to matte luma. This will ensure that the blood only appears where the white part of the color matte is. If you want the blood to show up in the black areas instead, just check the reverse option. I want that splash effect to hit right when the girl fires the gun, so let's trim these layers to that exact frame. Now it's time to animate. Select the duplicated clip and from the opacity section, click the pen tool to create a free bezier mask. Then click the stopwatch next to mask path, move to frames forward, and adjust the mask size. Repeat this process one more time until the splash fully covers the lens. You can add an extra touch by animating the evolution of the VR fractal noise effect. And also you can add the splash sound effect for added drama. For the next gunfire, cut the color matte, then tweak the contrast, brightness, and evolution values to give us even more blood splatter. And there you have it. That's how you can create a killer blood splash effect that'll make your action scenes pop.